Well, good morning, everyone. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks uh, Ministry. It's really early where um, I live. It's about five o'clock in the morning, but I get up to post videos before I start my work uh, day on my computer, which is either around six or seven a.m. And uh, a couple messages came in my spirit uh, to share. I've shared it before. But it must be time to share it um, again. Uh, many of you know that I sleep um, underneath the word of God and the power of God. I fill my spirit up with the word of the living God. And I'm going to show you my earbuds that I place in my ear. Um, here are my earbuds. I place them uh, in my computer and then the other end in my ears and I download the Old and New Testament uh, while I'm sleeping. I keep God close to me in my sleep and while I am awake. In the beginning was the Word of God. The Word of God is with God. The Word of God is God. I stay um, underneath the shadow of the Most High all the time i've been walking with god like that for years the spirit of god trained me to walk like that and um one of the reasons why god trained me to walk like that is number one um, i keep the word continually in my ears and in my spirit um and faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god and you know when you hear the word over and over and over again you're feeding your faith and it continues to grow Another reason is um, I'm walking in power of God. Um, in the beginning was the Word of God. The Word of God is with God. The Word of God is God. God is the Word. You can't separate God from the, from the Word of God. So the words that are in the Bible are another format um, of God. So And it's anointed, alive, and filled with power. So I sleep with power entering my spirit while I'm sleeping at night. So that's eight hours being filled up with the word of the living God. And then um, the third reason um, is, I'm going to read it to you, it's found in Proverbs 4, 20 uh, through 22. And it reads, uh, My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them in health to all your flesh. Um, I also open up my Bible, read my Bible, let the Word of God get into my eyes, travel throughout my body. So while I'm sleeping, the Word of God is going in my ears. And then when I wake up, the Word of God is going in my eyes. And then I also open up my mouth and speak the word of the living God over me and my family. And because I filled up with the power of God for eight hours while I'm sleeping, when I wake up and speak God's word, it comes out with force and it comes out with power. And it comes out with results and it comes out to manifest. So I wanted to make sure that I shared that uh, with you. And as I'm sleeping... Uh, with the word of God going in my spirit, God is talking to me in my dreams. He's telling me things. He's giving me specific information. He's healing my body. You know, I want you to understand that your first medicine, um, an essential nutrient for your body is the word of the living God from the Bible. Um, God's word is God. So you put... You're putting the word of God in your body. You're putting God in your body to bless your kidneys, to bless your heart, to bless your brain, to bless and purify your blood, to remove sickness and disease. Okay? So I want to make sure I come on camera and explain to you what you are supposed to be doing. And you're not supposed to be tired or you know, I ain't had enough of spending time with God. You don't have that type of attitude with the Lord. Spending time with God will save your life, add life to your years, bless you, 
um, in every area um, of your life. So I wanted to make sure um, that I shared that with you. Often when I know that someone is dying, um, of course, you know, I'll lay hands on them and, and, and provide essential nutrient, nutrients. But I also tell people to pull out the word of God, get some earphones, download the Old New Testament in that person's spirit and watch God perform miracles. See, all of this that I'm sharing with you came out of my revelation of spending time with God and God teaching me about the healing ministry and what is supposed to go inside of the body. So I wanted to make sure um, I shared that with you. And then when I'm awake and I'm working on my computer logs, I don't have to call doctor's offices and stuff. I have the word of the living God going into my body another eight hours while I am awake. I stay saturated in the Old New Testament. I stay close to God. And you must do the same if you want to walk in the promises of healing and health. Um, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You don't just need essential nutrients such as vitamin D, C, zinc, and probiotics without milk and all of the nutrients that your body needs to repair and heal itself. You also need essential nutrients of the word of the living God. And not just on Sunday when you go to church or Saturday when you go to the synagogue. You need God's word every day throughout the day to push back forces of darkness that try, will try to take you out. Okay? Uh, I have so many miracles and healings that uh, take place when people just follow the instructions in the Bible. God clearly wrote it in the word. I'm going to read it to you again. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 22. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all your flesh. God's word is medicine and health to all your flesh. Now, after you understand that you need to be disciplined walking with God and add the word of God to your body, through your ears, and through your eyes, you must also flush out your body, cleanse it out, add essential nutrients, exercise, and eat right. You put both realms together to walk in wholeness and health. And then you'll notice that I have a lot of, of videos uploaded. And as the Spirit of God continues to point things out to me, I continue to add to the video. So you might see uh, two or three different videos talk of me talking about menstrual flow, for example. Um, uh, I was working with a young woman who had severe uh, menstrual cramps where she had to call off of work. And, I, you know, previously I had told her to take the magnesium and the calcium. Well, that um, helped, but she still had a missing piece. And the Spirit of God showed me B-complex. So I told her to take the B-complex along with what she was already doing. And that was the missing piece that brought deliverance so you'll see many many videos that i post up with your doctor's permission add those nutrients to your body then as i add new information get permission from your doctors to add the new information we're, we're consistently growing in the knowledge um, of god and health is like uh uh, a recipe. You have to have all of the, the nutrients put together to get the best results. So just want to make sure you uh, understand uh, while I have different videos up, um, 
regarding maybe a, a same topic um, it's because these are the nutrients that you need to add to your body to get the best uh, results so I want to make sure um, I share that with you and I also want to talk about um, the healing ministry versus my nursing license so with the healing ministry um, I told you before, I don't charge people um, an arm um, or a leg um, to do anything, to, to command miracles, to open up blind eyes, to raise the dead, to pray for people. There's no charge there because it's not biblical. It's not found in scripture anywhere. And I'm not doing anything that's not in the word of God keeping my heart pure before God. Now, when it comes to the world system with underneath my nursing license, when I'm doing my when I'm working underneath my nursing license, um and I'm working for a, a business or a corporation, I get paid to be a nurse. I get paid to be a nurse um administrator. I get paid for that cuz that's the world system of how to bring income um, into a person's uh, life. If I do private consults underneath my nursing license, I get paid. Um, you know, um, if somebody asks me to speak at their church, I do not assess a payment underneath my ministry. No, no sir, no ma'am. That is an abomination before the Lord. You'll never find that uh, corruption connected to my ministry. I will receive an offering. I will receive um, an offering, um, but I, uh, I do not assess a charge because I've had people ask me, we would like for you to come to our church and speak, do a nutritional sem seminar. How much do you charge? Um, I tell people up front. First of all, I, I'm offended that you would put me in the same category as corrupt individuals out here. Because I know people be out there talking about they walking with the Lord. They got Grammys and they got this and they got that. And child, you ain't seen blind eyes open up the first. Ain't nobody been raised from the dead. Nope, nope, nope. None of the signs and wonders has taken place. But yet they're assessing a fee of $20,000, $100,000, $30,000, $10,000. I don't do stuff like that. Not when it comes to the ministry of Jesus Christ. Corruption is not going to be connected to my name. I refuse to be in that whole category. So I tell people, nope, I don't do stuff like that. Um, God is watching. He sees who's corrupt and who's not. And I'm not going to let corruption stop me from entering the heaven. Okay, that's not going to stop me. From entering the heaven. Y'all already know I share my heaven testimony. I know heaven is real. If you corrupt, you ain't getting in. So um I don't do that. I'll assess an offering after people get their miracles. And when I go and I speak in churches, miracles take place because I have a healing ministry. Not only do I uh you know command healings to take place and, and uh, miracles to uh, manifest um, but I also teach people how to take proper care of their body underneath uh, God's natural laws so I wanted to make sure I talked to you about that and um, my full-time ministry doesn't look like the full-time ministries that are um, that you see out there uh, running games in the name of the lord i don't do stuff like that my full-time ministry consists of god telling me what he wants me to do uh with uh humanity and another thing um that i also do is i have companies i, I own two companies i own a, a christian publishing company and a health company where i create products um, and I also, you all know, I also have other inventions out there on the market that, that are going to be on the market and I have a movie out there. So, you know, underneath my companies, I have, um, products, God ideal products that, um, have manifested in the earth and then I get money that way. But from 
Um, so, you know, I work, I work every day um, as a nurse administrator. So m my employment for uh, work supports and takes care of my ministry bills and all my needs. Cause you know, if I'm doing an interview, I have to pay my TV crew to edit. I have to pay my TV crew. Um, uploading information. You see what I'm saying? So hotel bills, when my TV crew and I travel, you know, I, I pay for their hotel bills. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, my ministry requires uh, money. And so I don't beg for money. I don't solicit for money. Um, God knows what he called me to do. And he always supplies and he always gives the money, gives me the money to do what I need to do. Lois is not begging anybody for anything, okay? I'm not going to be out there shucking and jiving with the Lord. This is this stuff is too serious, and I'm not playing. I'm not playing with the Lord. So um, I'm very careful how I built my ministry. God already told me, do not connect myself to Satan with the 501c3. I don't do that um, so that my mouth can be used by God, and I don't have to play uh games where people gotta try to figure out what i'm saying I, i'm telling you straight out what you what you need to do okay um so this is lois banks coming to you from the uh lois banks ministry uh gravitate more toward the word of the living god don't get tired of being with god spend time with god day and night night and day Get in a habit of getting in your car and playing the Old and the New Testament. Get in a habit of sleeping underneath the Old and the New Testament. Get in a habit of going throughout your days, finding a way to bring God, um, the Old New Testament into you. That, this is how I live, the Old New Testament into your life. This is how I live. This is the creative environment and power that I walk in and I live in for for over 30 something years. Okay. So I wanted to make sure I highlighted that, share that information with you because you know God wants us to have balance and he wants us to have victory. And I know this information is not being taught in the church like it should be. And that's why Satan's whooping on people's tails. But God wants you to win and he wants me to equip you with knowledge. So this is Lois Banks. Coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. God bless you.